The Roman JT 62. Back on the Pegasus 12. This will be the conclusion and final video of this series on this machine. In this video, we're going to look at the final wiring, line voltage, do a final look of the completed project. Something you're interested in? Stay tuned. So I'm going to give you a little look at uh, the final wiring of, of the ramps. I went ahead and ran the voltage, the fan. Uh, I have to connect the heat bed wires. I'm going to have to use, uh, there's no way I'm going to be able to get that 12 gauge underneath the terminals on that on the power supply so these are yellow terminals uh, ring uh, you just have to file the edges down so that they'll fit a little look in there that's basically how it's going to be routed around once I finish that the last thing to do is uh, get the power to this thing when you get all that done come back and take a look at it so there's a little shot of the final wiring power supply everything's connected ramps is totally wired at this point last thing Line voltage. So I've kind of uh, decided what I'm going to do with uh, connecting this line voltage. I thought I'd show you before I get this connected. Made a little bracket for this IDN connector. Um, here's a switch. I have a bracket for it uh, similar to this. This is like 330 seconds and I think it's going to provide plenty of support for that uh, what I'm going to do is uh, at this point is I'm going to mount the connector for the power back here it gives me a shorter run to get up to this power supply uh, and then I'm going to shoot the switch wires up to this channel on the bottom side and then mount the switch in this lower corner you know, so like I said I I have to have that switch up here I, I actually ordered some of the combo connector slash uh, switch you know they're in the box type thing and I'm just not going to be happy with that uh, like I said I want to be able to turn this on from the front turn it off from the front and I want everything here uh, when you turn your washer on, the switch isn't on the back, it's on the front. That's the most logical place, so that's what I'm shooting for at this point. And I'm going to get that installed, and we'll come back and take a look at it. Here's a little look uh, before we get this all wired up. The bracket for the switch up front, uh, it's going to sit. Originally, I had a bracket made up that sat right about in here but there was a big gap underneath that and I didn't like that so I uh, went ahead and redid this and brought it down so now we have a clean line in here in the corner and when I put the front panels on I think that's going to be easier to work with so we'll get the switch wired up come back take a look at it Okay, so we're back. Uh, got everything pretty much cleaned up. I'm going to take a final look at this machine. 
things uh, that were installed in addition to the stock such as the lead screws cable chains relocation of the switch so it's up front and not on the back here's a final look of the completed machine wiring complete get a little shot of the back side here I think this turned out very well. Um, it's what I wanted, what I wanted this to look like. Like I said, this project that I went through may not be for everybody. You may do it at some point. Maybe you want to get this up and running. I wasn't in a rush. This did take some time, some thinking, help from others. Thanks a lot, Kurt McLean, for your ideas. I believe this machine overall can't be beaten price. I looked For quite some time over the internet, eBay, uh, everywhere. And for what you get in this machine, you can't beat it. You cannot beat it. And that's in my opinion. You know, I'm not a professional 3D print guy. This is a thing that's new to me, but I do know about structural integrity and this has virtually it has no plastic in the framework whatsoever a little shot of the left hand side going through Like we say, all good things must come to an end. And this wraps up the last video in this series of the Maker Farm Pegasus 12. The building of it. The upgrades to it and wire management. And I have to tell you that wire management will take three times as long as it takes to build this machine. Is this a machine to build for everybody? You have to have basic tools plus some. If you want everything to be right. You can't just base assembly on the common tools that they tell you that you need. You're going to need some other things. So, we're going to call this. There's going to be other videos on this machine. Um, there's things I need to start getting printed up. I need to get the ramps firmware loaded. I've done the Octoprint, but I need to fire this thing up. Smoke check it. No, that hasn't been done yet. And, uh, I'm about 99% sure everything's right, so I'm not going to fire it up until 
I got to go through uh, some more instructions on this. And uh, there's more videos to come down the road. Uh, we're going to do an enclosure for this. Plan on putting whiting in it. The whole works. So I'd like to thank everybody that's followed my videos in this series. I hope that at least one person got something out of this. Because that's what it's all about. One person find something or at least one thing that they need out of this, then these videos are a good thing. So once again, please like, subscribe, comment. I'll answer any questions as best as I can. Or you can contact Colin at Maker Farm. Outstanding customer support. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.